Hey, beautiful souls, welcome to a special full moon alert. And though these videos are timeless, meaning the energy of whatever day I am recording these on, the energy will follow this reading throughout time. For those of you that are watching this around August 30th of 2023, wow, we have a big full moon coming here. It happens on August 30th at 9.36 p.m. Eastern. Eastern Standard Time here in the United States. And not only is it a full moon, it's a water moon, a Pisces water full moon. It is a super full moon, which means, you know, the uh, moon orbits the Earth in like kind of an ovalish, not a huge ovalish, but an ovalish uh, type of orbit. And when it's closer in the shorter period here between the Earth and the and its orbit, that's it's called a super full moon. So not only that, but it's a blue moon too, which means it's the second uh, moon in a month. We have it only, It's that's why it's called, it only happens every once in a blue moon. It's not um, happening, you know, all the time. So it is something that's uh, rare-ish. So Pisces, super, blue, full moon, boom, a lot of emotional energy. Whatever we focus on is going to be hugely expanded. So if you're focusing in on our fears, we're going to experience them in a great, big, wonderful way. And then also for focusing on unconditional love, we're going to experience that in a big, huge, fun way. So be sure to tune in to me that evening on August 30th because I'll be having a special uh, ritual that we will do all together before we get into the free readings. So I'm excited. But for this pick a card reading, you are going to have a choice between three different options, one, two, and three. And we're going to be looking into to because of the Pisces influence, which is all about the unknown and the mysteries of life, we're going to ask what's hidden that can help us now in our lives. And with the super moon, because it's closer to us, it impacts us more emotionally. We're going to be asking where are we feeling extra strong emotions in our life? And lastly, because of the blue moon, we're going to ask what rare opportunity do we have right now? So I'm going to jump into number one right now, but if you want to leap ahead to number two or number three, timestamps are listed in the description box down below. Uh, but we'll go ahead and jump into the moon reading right now. All right, if you chose reading number one, then this is the reading for you. And we're going to start off with this beautiful Voice of the Souls Oracle. And this is going to be diving into the unknown. What's hidden that can help you right now? So let's give it a shuffle here and we'll start here. And let's see what is hidden that could help you right now. All right, I feel like it's this one right here. Oh, and you have regrets. Card number 23. Beautiful cards here. We'll just put that right here, schmack in the middle. And let's see what comes in here with that for you here. Beautiful, beautiful deck. So these have messages from your soul, from your spirit guides, and for other and from other entities. So from your soul, it says part of your energy is caught in regrets. You feel you've missed something important, which brings you great sorrow. You may be regretting a choice you made and looking to turn back time. This isn't necessarily a good idea. Remember, you always do your best with what you have. You always make the right choices when you make them on your own. These regrets create a heavy inner burden which disconnects you from your inner beauty. They also create blockages inside you, disconnecting you from your solar plexus chakra. Then you may be caught in an inner struggle, letting yourself be guided by negative thoughts. This isn't right for you. Take time to understand the source of your regrets. Write them down and then release them. This will allow you to create new space for new actions. Wow, powerful. So 
uh, whatever regrets you might have, this is what is hidden and what uh, spirit, your soul, would like you to know so you could release that. Your spirit guides also chime in here. It says part of you is an energy of duality which can create inner tension and prevent you from feeling serene. You're also constantly doubting everything. And this can create a freezing comfort zone in your outer life. You feel like you're waiting for something important without necessarily understanding what that is. We invite you to understand the source of this duality that has been inside of you for months. Become aware of the discrepancy between what you are creating in your outer life and what you really want. We invite you to contact us, that's your spirit guides, because you think we're absent at the moment and you act from this feeling, you don't ask for signs or guidance. But it's up to you to come to us using your choice of method. We await your call to share everything you need to know, or hey, this is what we were asking, what's hidden that can help you right now? So they await your call to share everything you need to know and guide you to free yourself from this duality and create new inner and outer osmosis. And then the entity uh, that wants to talk to you says, even if now I feel free, I had many regrets. For different reasons, there were many things I did not do, and I was often afraid of showing up and making the wrong choices. I'd lock myself up in these certainties. So this is not your soul, it's not your spirit guides, this is someone else maybe you've known that's on the other side, um, or some sort of other entity or being of love and light. And it says, today I realize these regrets created an inner burden. And I don't want you to make the same choice as I did. You know, dare to be the beautiful person you want to be. Before I departed, I left some things unfinished. I thought I could take care of them later. I thought I had more time, but I didn't. In hindsight, it was perfect this way. Today, I need you to do something for me. Something I would have liked to do. I'm sending you many signs. And deep down, you know what I'm talking about. So do this thing for me. You will help me to free myself completely and help us communicate in a new way. I have faith in you. Wow, so powerful. I like that for you. So definitely this, um, you know, the regrets that it's talking about here, this is what is within you. Uh, ask your spirit guides. They will not meddle with your free will. But if you ask them of your own free will to meddle in your life and to come and give you signs and synchronicities, they will flood them in for you. But you got to ask of your own free will for their assistance on releasing these regrets. And then the supermoon portion of this reading has to do with where are you feeling extra strong emotions during this time as well. So let's take a look here. We are using the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And let's take a look here and see what does the Queen of the Moon want you to know about your emotions. What are you feeling extra strong here and what message do they have for that? Okay, it's going to be this top one here. And you have assessing card number nine. Here's like the half moon <laughs> coming in here, which we're having like right around right now while I'm recording this. So let's take a look here and see what this brings in here for you. So assessing. So it's time to assess your current position and you must make sure your blind spots are revealed and that you're honest with others and yourself. Sometimes the hard decision is the best decision and you should be able to assess and move quickly based on that assessment. The uh, little small um, affirmation for this card says, I am enjoying moving and choosing, moving and choosing. 
You've begun your journey and now it is time to assess where you are and what to do next. I feel like the emotion that you're feeling extra strong right now is confusion and uncertainty of which to choose. Like, um, you know, you're unsure, the unsurety, like you're at a fork in the road and you don't know which way to go. And it says you've made a decision you're getting ready to make a decision and you've worked and walked the path for some time and yet to understand that in every journey it's a wise action to check the map so i feel like you made a choice before and you're reaching another fork in the road here but it's saying to check the map to see am i off course where am i going it says sometimes that we go along a pathway and we keep going even if it seems like that way is no longer the right way for us. Sometimes we feel we've gone too far to turn around and so we settle on a journey and a destination that doesn't really suit us or satisfy us. However, if we had had some courage, we could have assessed as we went and perhaps ended up somewhere else, somewhere better. Almost sounds a little bit like regret. <laughs> now is the time to look carefully at all aspects of your life, especially the areas in which you have set some intentions or goals. Ask yourself, do I still want these things? Do I still want that same end result? And if the answer is no, ask yourself what you can do to maintain momentum and head toward what you now desire. Although it doesn't seem terribly glamorous, assessment has a high payoff for us if we bother to do it well. Doing it well means we really look and look hard at how things are going. All of us have some kind of blind spot, so it's worth exposing this by consulting a trusted friend or finding where negative repeating patterns are and looking for the cause. Shining a light on a blind spot and taking action to shift it is one of life's biggest catalysts for change. And the companion stone for this is Azurite. So I like this here. So really this is revealing to you that maybe you're not on the path that you had intended or that you intended but now you're kind of having a switch up like you want to go into a different direction and you're like um if you don't you're going to regret you're going to have these regrets of oh i knew i could have changed a direction but i didn't you it won't hurt you you've been making this decision and staying true to this one path when you've had off ramps off ramps off ramps but here this is like a huge message of there's an off ramp coming up and uh, you know though you might have regrets in the past you can let those go and realize that you can change course now still and you're still going to be fine you're still going to enjoy and head towards your dream rather than go towards you know someone else's dream that they gave you all right and then we're going to pull here from the gateway oracle cards for the final area which is the blue moon which is what rare opportunity do you have right now right this opportunity for change probably let's take a look here though and see what we have coming in here all right they want this one right here mending bridges i heal rifts I am a mender. Yeah, so whatever this regret was, I feel like there's an opportunity to change that. And then you change your future too. I feel like whatever this is has been holding you back and you're able to move forward and move in a different direction. So let's take a look here and see what comes in for this one. Yeah, heal old wounds with respect to people and situations. Carefully do whatever you feel is necessary to make amends. You are a mender. Help others mend bridges in their lives. And the universe wants you to know there are times to drop everything and leave. <laughs> there are also times to carefully mend, bri mend bridges with people, situations, and places. This is one of those healing times. Maybe there is a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Do it now, for you no longer need to carry it with you. 
Perhaps there's a person from your past with whom you can reconnect. You know what you need to do, so take action now. Questions you can ask yourself, if there was an area of my life that needed mending, what might it be? What is the first step I need to take towards resolving a current rift I have with someone? And could this card represent something within myself that I need to give attention to or mend? Yeah, so I, I really see this here, this, this energy here of uh, mending a bridge, which helps you release these regrets, which then allows you to move forward. It says there's a time for mending and a time for moving forward. And I feel like this is what is coming in here for you. You have uh, like a mending bridge period of time, but then you have this moving forward period of time as well. Let's see what their final message is here around this moon for you, the transient light tarot. <laughs> So movement, and let's see what they have here for you. So what else? Would you like those? Okay, I feel like it's these four. Yeah, all right. So let's see what we've got here. Yeah, Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is leaving behind the thoughts, the beliefs, the mindsets, the attitudes that no longer serve you, those beliefs that kept you blinded and bound and trapped. So you definitely have that energy coming in here uh, with this mending of bridges because these thoughts and beliefs and mindsets, eight is a good flowing number that allows you to move past the thoughts and beliefs that brought you to this area here. And you have the Keeper of Wands, which would be the Queen of Wands in the um, Standard Tarot. So this is about someone taking action and moving forward, trusting their connection with the higher realms, with the emotional side of the, um, you know, the, the Wands energy, which is your passion, living your passion, heading forward into it, which is very much this energy here. So don't be afraid. Don't hold yourself back. Yeah, Six of Cups, nostalgia, the past, transforming old emotions into, uh, you know, this is that regrets and the transformation here that comes in. It's uh, looking at people's old emotions, your old actions, knowing that if they were not actions of unconditional love and joy and peace and laughter, then they were a fear because it's either of unconditional love or fear in each moment. So when someone act, you know, acts a fool, right, out of their head, out of their mind, uh, uncompassionate and unloving, that's when our human goes into fight or flight mode and it knocks us out of our our humanity, you know, our mature humanity, and a little two-year-old and their pet cat is in charge, which tends not to fare well because they'll do whatever they feel is necessary, uh, you know, to make things happen and to make things, you know, come true here. So let me just move this light a little bit. Well, maybe I'll leave it there. Okay. Um, but there is this transformation of these emotions, right? And then you have the champion of coins, which would be the uh, Knight of Pentacles, which is slow moving. So we've got that here. We've got the, you know, changing of these habits, this bridging here of thought and belief and mindset. We've got the transformation that takes a little bit of time and letting your regrets go. But then you really step into like fast mode with this energy, which, which allows you to move forward. So it's definitely worth looking into here and this Pisces full moon energy of the blue moon of the super moon bring up and have all this um, sediment that was below the surface it's being brought up to the surface for us to look at but not you know out of spite or out of you know to show us look what what's you have in, you know down in there is so that we can transform it and release it and we can move forward into something in our life that is more in alignment with our path so i like this for you and that is what they have for you all of you that chose reading number one
And if you're interested in hearing more messages of love from above, there's a couple things that you can do. First, you can give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button. That tells me that you're enjoying this content, but it also tells YouTube that you're enjoying the content and they'll bring more of the same to you. Second thing you can do is click that subscribe button that does give you access to the notification bell. And if you go into the settings and select all, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on my channel and also get notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. Also, doing those things helps spread the Zen love and you're part of the love tsunami because when you like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, or subscribe to the channel, doing those things does make the YouTube algorithm super crazy happy excited and it wants to automatically share the videos of my channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, um, I do offer personal readings, and all that information is listed down in the description box down below. All right, amazing people, as you go throughout this next period of your life, please know that every second of every day of your life, that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things, our creator, and of course, I I love you too. So until I chat with you again, much love to you. You hang in there and you take care. If you chose reading number two, then this is the reading for you. And we're going to start off with this beautiful Voices of the Soul Oracle. And this is what we're going to look into, the Pisces energy, diving into the unknown. What is hidden that can help you right now? And these do have a message from the soul, from the um, spirit guides, and then from and other entities. So let's take a look here and we'll see which one is for you. Number two. So let's take a look. What would you like those that chose reading number two to know? What is hidden? All right. They do want this one right here. Ah, there's a hidden calm beneath the surface here. Card number seven. Beautiful, beautiful card. So I'm going to put this right here. And let's see what comes in here for you. So from your soul, your soul says you may be feeling a kind of inner upheaval. You feel something important is on the way. You're afraid of making a mistake or you are afraid to believe. You are truly connected to your spiritual, intuitive, and psychic abilities. Everything you feel is correct, and many things that you've been waiting for are finally coming to you. This will bring you great joy, love, and happiness. You will feel complete. All your needs will be fulfilled. You will find yourself in a gentle and benevolent energy. You have long shed tears. I know, I comforted you. Again, this is your soul talking to you. You thought you were alone, but I was there with you, stretching out my hand. These tears brought you freedom, and now a beautiful smile is growing on your lovely face. Wow. And then um, your spirit guides tell you that you have already opened a new chapter in your life and renewal is here. It is present in your energy and you can feel it. We know it and we continue to send you signs to confirm your feelings are correct. It's an important year for you. It will be rich in transparency, change, and honesty. And you dare to say what you would like and what you want. You dare to show yourself as you are, and you dare to raise your head and believe in your inner victory. This brings a wonderful energy of uncharted territory. It brings new relationships with others. Important documents will be signed, which will let you bring to life the renewal you have long been waiting for. Everything is there. All is well. Wow. Powerful. And then the entity, this is um, someone else who is not your soul, not your spirit guide specifically. Uh, it's another being of unconditional love and light. It can be, you know, uh, loved ones who's on the other side, wh whoever it may be. 
and it says, I talk to you, but you don't hear me. <laughs> you need calm moments of silence, moments of inner harmony, and you won't find the answers you're waiting for from others. You won't feel my presence through others, but you will by being in touch with yourself. Take a few moments to create true inner and outer calm. I never knew this calm when I was incarnated. There was far too much noise around me. I didn't listen to myself, which would have helped me to understand that I had the answers inside me all along. I gave far too much power to the words of others instead of my own thoughts. Listen to yourself. Be silent to hear my voice and yours. And by taking a few moments in this place hidden from others, your den, your sanctuary, you can receive the answers and signs you expect from me. I am here waiting for you to create inner space so I can talk to you. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. So definitely there's this message of this calmness of this rebirth, these new starts coming, but it's important for you to take time away. It's kind of like the hermit card um, or the nine of pentacles feeling of taking time away in the, in the physical world from others so that you can uh, hear so much more clearly because it's like it said when we're in our fear and we're in the outside world it's chaotic it's noisy we can't hear the whispers of love but when we get away and we purposely raise our calm right to this place of peace unconditional love joy laughter that's when that's the frequency at which spirit speaks and we can hear things even more clearly so i love this for you and then we were going to head into the super moon energy, which has to do with where are you feeling extra strong emotions? And for that, we've got the queen of the moon oracle. All right, so let's see what we've got here. For those of you that chose number two. All right, <laughs> there we go. Right off the bat here. Yeah, and here we have nourishment seven, the number seven twice here. So very synchronistic. Nourish the soul. Time for this mother nature, mother nurture, right? Nurturing yourself. And you got both of the new moon <laughs> symbols on here too. So let's take a look and see what this brings in here for you. Choose to nourish your mind, body, and spirit. Feed your values. When you are jealous or envious, it is a sign of what you are actually hungering for. So pay attention to your health. Uh, the affirmation for this card is, I choose to nourish myself. All of us have a set of values that are as individual as our fingerprints. And sometimes we aren't sure what they might be if asked, but unconsciously we know. How do we know? Because if our values are not being met or lived, we rebel. <laughs> we get angry, sad, depressed, irritable, or stuck, or we take the chaotic choice in our decision making, and commonly our relationships and life um, are not harmonious. An example of this might be someone who has a strong value of honesty being asked to manipulate the truth every day in a sales job or someone who highly values peace right, and calm being sur surrounded by loud drama filled people who are just the opposite of peaceful or calm. <laughs> So meeting our values and living by them is a sure way to nourish our being. We feel more complete and fulfilled if we're able to do that. Additionally, if uh, it probably isn't an exaggeration to say that the Western world is obsessed by food for the wrong reasons. Food is often used as pain relief, with many people overeating due to anxiety or pain. Food becomes a diversion rather than something that is nourishing or even simply enjoyable. Learning to nourish bodies purely to give them what they really need is a key to mental 
and physical health. And the um, companion stone for this is emerald. So very interesting there. And then we will move into the gateway oracle cards. And this talks about that blue moon energy. What rare opportunity do you have right now? All right, so let's see what comes in here for you. All right. So what else for those that chose reading number two, please? All right. That one right here. And you have, since as I'm... As I'm <laughs> throw everything around here. All right. So you've got soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. Yes. So I love that for you because, you know, like we're talking about, we raise our vibration to that of unconditional love and joy and peace and laughter. And that's what allows you to hear spirit so clearly here. Right. So let's take a look here and see what this brings in. So celebrate and live life with glee. Clap your hands in delight. Be madcap and spontaneous. All is truly well. And the universe wants you to know, allow a childlike wonder and joy to fill your entire being. Your happiness makes a difference to others, for as you experience true delight, this radiates out from you like ripples in a still pool and touches the souls of many. Take time for yourself. <laughs> we talked about that already. Find ways to experience joy in every moment. And even when doing the most mundane, boring, or gritty tasks, look for ways to feel genuine happiness. If you have trouble finding pleasure in certain situations, start small and eventually you will soar. To feel joyful is a gift. It rejuvenates you and heals the world. Questions you can ask yourself. What gives me the greatest pleasure? What might be blocking my joy? What's the key to experiencing more bliss in my life? Wow, great question. So really focusing our energy reminds me a lot of the wand suit of whatever we focus on is what grows and expands. And of course, if we're focusing on fears, that's the chaos, that's the lower vibration, that's noise. We have trouble hearing the whispers of the higher realm. But when we raise our vibration to that of the higher realm, that's when it's clear and we have the clarity. We also draw in like attracts and like. So whatever we want to draw in is what we focus on here. Right, and then we have the transient light tarot. And let's see what additional messages they have here for you. So what else for those that chose reading number two? Okay, so these four, all right. So let's take a look here. I feel like we're gonna start from the bottom here. And you have the Proclaimer, which this is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is this invitation of understanding what is your capital T truth. And a lot of this was about getting quiet, getting out and speaking with spirit and getting clarity. And this helps you gain clarity about what is your true dream? What is it that you truly want to do in life? What is it that would make it feel full and complete? Well, this is this invitation. You're diving deeper into your heart, your higher heart, getting out of your head and into your heart to find out what it is. Uh, how do you uniquely want to express that unconditional love in your heart with the world? Yeah, you have know, the champion of wands. So here's the knight of wands. Uh, they're on a quest for this ace of wands about where if we're focusing our energy like we were talking about, right? So they're on this quest to find and step into their power. And they realize, like as we said, whatever we focus on is what grows and expands. So if a little kid goes into a bakery, and you know, they have the glass shelf and they're pointing at a donut going, you know, looking at it here, looking at it here, looking at it here. Eventually, the baker will 
uh, you know, pack up a dozen of those donuts and give it to the kid. He's like, eh, I hate that. And they're like, well, don't point at what you hate. Point out what you love and I'll bring you more of those. I'll bring you dozens of those donuts instead. So it's becoming a little more aware and responsible uh, for where we're pointing our magic wand and what we're drawing into our lives, right? Yeah, and then we have the Defender, which is the Emperor in the Standard Tarot. So this is Aries energy, new beginnings, uh, and stepping into your power. You know, having listened so long to what everybody else said, you're supposed to, you should, you need to, you have to, you must. The Emperor goes, okay, thank you everyone for your opinion. You can now clear the throne room and I'm going to make a decision because I'm the Emperor. I'm the one in charge of my kingdom. And so there is the standing up and this moving forward in confidence but i feel it's once you find out what it is here the getting this clarity then that's when you take action and have movement forward but this step is so important to find out what it is you truly want yeah and then you have the six of vessels and the six of cups this is nostalgia um but for many of you this is uh you know, there's this energy on the planet now where we are having past life memories and recognition bubble up from the surface. So with all this nourishing yourself and getting in tune with your heart, you are able to dive deeper like the high priestess does. And you're connecting to the subconscious area of our lives, of your emotional body, where your Akashic records are stored. These are where your past lives and your past memories are stored as well. So especially with all this Pisces energy, boom, things are bubbling up from the surface and you might get some, um, you know, clarification around why you have this attract. It just feels otherworldly. And you might meet people that you feel you've met before in this lifetime, but you haven't because it's from a past lifetime. So I'm excited for you. Uh, all of you that chose reading number two here. So the calmness, the quiet reveals a lot to you. So take advantage as much alone time as you can. That's healthy. And uh, see what you learn and that's what they have for you all of you that chose reading number two and if you're interested in hearing more messages of love from above there's a couple things that you can do first you can give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button that tells me that you're enjoying this content but it also tells youtube that you're enjoying the content and they'll bring more of the same to you second thing you can do is click that subscribe button that does give you access to the notification bell and if you go into the settings and select all then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on my channel and also get notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. Also, doing those things helps spread the Zen love and you're part of the love tsunami because when you like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, or subscribe to the channel, doing those things does make the YouTube algorithm super crazy happy excited and it wants to automatically share the videos of my channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, um, I do offer personal readings, and all that information is listed down in the description box down below. All right, amazing people, as you go throughout this next period of your life, please know that every second of every day of your life, that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things, our creator, and of course, I I love you too. So until I chat with you again, much love to you. You hang in there and you take care. If you chose reading number three, then this is the reading for you. And we're going to start off with this beautiful voice of the soul's oracle to dive into that Pisces energy. What is hidden that can help you now? And these cards come with messages from your soul, from your spirit guides, and then also from other entities of love and light that are not your soul or your spirit guides. So let's take a look here and see what do they want you to know? What is hidden that can help you right now? What is hidden that can help you right now? All right, this is the one right here. Let's see what we got here. Ah, there's some learning to be had at card number four. 
beautiful, beautiful card. And we'll put that right here. And let's see what comes in here for you. So first from your soul, your soul wants you to know that you are learning many things at the moment that may not be positive. <laughs> uh oh, you're in an energy of intense learning and great positive evolution. You need to learn new things. You also have many abilities and skills dormant inside you. This is powerful in you. I know you're in doubt right now, and you may wonder if you're taking the right path by learning new things or making important changes related to your new capabilities. If you make the choice by and for yourself, it will always be a good choice because, because it is your own. So be daring and be confident in yourself. All right. Uh, your soul says, I am sending you many signs to help you trust what you feel deep inside instead of listening to other people's frameworks of reference. You are taking a unique path that will be fabulous and bring you many new things. It will be more than sublime. Yeah, so you are learning new things here. Just make sure it's like the four is like the emperor energy. People have a lot of opinion around your life. You're supposed to, you should, you need to, you have to, you must. But it's up to you to choose what is for you. Uh, and we can listen to other people's opinions, but ultimately our choice is the choice that we make for our own lives. And then your spirit guides come in. They say four years ago, you experienced something important. Something you may have put on hold or kept dormant in your energies. We are sending you many signs today because there is something important to be learned in connection to that past experience. We're sending you signs in your dreams. and We advise you to write them down. If you don't remember them, take time to meditate for a few moments before going to bed, setting the intention of remembering your dreams afterwards. You may feel caught in repetitive patterns, but that is not the only feeling coming to you. You are in an energy of new things and important changes. The next four months will be rich in events, which will ask you to trust in the unknown, trust in synchronicities. Everything will be more than fine. Wow. Love that. And then the entity, which is, um, could be in any, any other entity of uh, love and light that's bringing a message to you. That's not your soul. That's not your higher self. And it says, my past life taught me many things. I often talked negatively, and sometimes I felt that life was really tough. I could still see myself ranting or feeling everything was against me. Today, I understand these experiences were to teach me important lessons. I also understand that my soul chose this. While things felt difficult in the moment, today I am in a positive evolution. In my past life, I always felt tired, which prevented me from doing important things. Today I realize I was experiencing inner duality. I was refusing to trust in life. I have no regrets. Everything I experienced was because of choices, but I will definitely do things differently in my next life. Be yourself in this energy of learning. I will manifest myself to you through the number 13. It will be a sign of my presence that I am by your side in the new wonderment being created for you. Have confidence in everything you are capable of doing. You are an extraordinary being. Wow. I love that for you. So be looking for that number 13 for sure. So you definitely have this learning, this ability, this wonderment that's coming your way, which I'm not surprised. All you number threes. 
But let's dig, dig deeper here, and we're going to look into the super moon energy and ask, where are your feelings extra strong right now? Where are your emotions extra strong? We've got the queen of the moon oracle, so we're going to look into these. All right. So let's see here. For all those that chose reading number three, what emotions are, are okay, <laughs> running, running big and deep here. We've got pleasure. Wow. Okay. Card number 18. And this could be a pleasure that you're feeling now or that you will around this powerful, super blue new moon. Card number 18. Let's see what that brings in here for you. Are you taking life too intensively or too seriously? The time has come to call in the pleasures of life. Seek lightheartedness at this time and focus on what would make you happy. Schedule in activities you find pleasurable. The uh, affirmation for this card is, I am um, open myself to the pleasures of life. I like this. It's like you're learning and you're studying. Don't forget to have fun. Don't make it all work and no play, right? In our search for a better life, something happened along the way. We forgot how to find real pleasure in what we do rather than just being diverted from the everyday. Life can be overwhelming and our rational minds seem to need every available minute of our time to be able to cope with its demands. Pleasure has taken the back seat, or there is a pattern of it now forming destructive tendencies such as uh, binge drinking rather than simply having a wine or two with friends. A big part of pleasure is letting go. This does not mean surrendering or giving up. It simply means handing over all of our administration, stress, and worries for a time and immersing ourselves in something joyful. When we don't allow ourselves to experience pleasure, whether in the form of laughter, play, sensuality, or the development of skills, we remain less than whole and feel a wanting. No fun actually makes us dull indeed. Over time, we're much less effective in our emotional and work lives if we do not experience regular doses of pleasure. Yeah, so what we're talking about here, uh, where you are feeling extreme emotions uh, is this need to have fun and uh, it feels restrictive. It feels like we've been so focused in on this learning and growth that we forgot to laugh and have fun as we're doing it, right? <laughs> It says our ancient ancestors knew the importance of pleasure in the forming of a healthy mind, body, and spirit. There were goals, and I'm sorry, gods and goddesses dedicated to happiness and the pleasures of life, such as the Egyptian goddess Hathor. The temples of Hathor were joyful places, full of songs and beauty. There were even small temples placed in honor outside of other major deities' temples so that people could be in a happy and contented mental mood before entering to worship. The Egyptians clearly believed that having a positive or relaxed state of mind assisted in having a positive spiritual connection. I love that. And the companion stone with this of is, of course, turquoise. We even got a little piece of it right here. So I like that. So definitely uh, we see the message here. And then we move into the blue moon energy with what rare opportunity do you have right now? We're going to use these gateway oracle cards. And let's see what message comes in here for you. All right. So what message do you have for those that chose reading number three, please? Reading number, okay, nope, not those. All right, I feel like it's this one right here. You've got launching your journey, yeah. I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. Beautiful card, we'll put that right here. Let's see what this one has for you. 
right? And this says inner and outer travel are ahead. So get ready for you're about to embark on a journey. This could be an inner sojourn, a voyage or a voyage to distant lands, or even a project or idea that's coming to life. Yeah, we knew that here with that learning card, right? And the universe wants you to know that where have you always wanted to go? What have you always wanted to do or be? This is the time to make it happen. Launch yourself forward and explore the world around you. However, before any journey, inner or outer, take time to prepare for the adventure ahead. Know where you are and where you want to go. How will you get there? What steps are necessary in order to take this leap? Have a clear vision, but also be prepared for the unexpected. Allow the journey to bring as much joy as the destination. So enjoy the journey and the destination as well. So I like all of this coming in here. All of these work so well uh, with the energy. And you can ask yourself, how can I prepare for the journey ahead? What is the greatest journey I could embark upon in my life? And what destination would be the most fulfilling? I like it. I like it. I like it. So definitely joy, joy, joy and celebration. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. Dream big, though. And, uh, you know, with where you're wanting to go, what you're wanting to do, don't hold back. I like this. And then your final cards. Whoops, we're going to pull here <laughs> as I destroy everything. Seems to be my thing, <laughs> these readings here. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, this is the transient light tarot. So let's take a look here and see what uh, the final message they have here for you. Okay, we've got these two. What else? Okay, that one and that one. All right, so let's start with this one down here. And we've got the three of wands. So this is a change of direction coming in here, but it's because you have new information. You've learned something new, obviously, and now you're uh, altering course, which is all right because, you know, the ace of wands is a new passion, new direction. The two of wands is making plans to go somewhere and putting them, you know, uh, some of them into implementation. And then number three is like, you've learned as you went and you're like, you know what? I know I was going to, when I got here, I was going to head off in this direction, but now I want to head off in this direction. And it's okay to do that. You have permission to do that because you do have new information that's coming in. And then you have temperance. And of course, temperance is about the going back and forth between the two cups. It is a good card because it is it's a slow card it's patience it's taking time to unfold but with every you know it's alchemy every pour of the cup back and forth it's transforming more and more towards gold so you know take the steps enjoy yeah enjoy the journey enjoy the process uh, don't rush because enjoy you know like it talked about enjoy the journey enjoy uh the time it's taking to get there yeah you have the six of pentacles you are going to have the benefit you are going to have the uh you know abundance coming in here because the six of coins says you have enough for yourself where you're actually able to give to others as well so uh don't worry about you know the the time it's taking and that you're not uh you know I can't have fun until then, you know, sometimes we'll put our, uh, you know, fullness and abundance and whole, you know, our contentment in the future saying, when this happens, then I can be happy. But the problem with that is we alter course and we're always changing things and we will, we don't get to that contentment because we keep on throwing it into the future. But if we change contentment and joy and, and gratitude into each moment, then we're celebrating as we're going along and it actually energizes us too, which I like. 
yeah and here is the nine of uh, vessels the nine of cups emotional fulfillment this is a wish come true card <laughs> so dreams come true so i i really like all this energy coming in here with this reading for you because it is you're learning and growing and and taking on these new abilities and and uh, learning a lot about yourself allowing the trueness of who you are to come forward and it's allowing you to have this journey because when you're living your dream and you're headed towards your dream you 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 can enjoy each step along the way because it's not about reaching the end of this goal the living the dream is living it every moment right and so you do have this fullness this wholeness that takes you in this direction you're learning so much about who you really are and what is coming forward trust the process trust that everything's going to turn out in your favor and you are going to have this feeling like you're living your dreams that come true but if you don't have joy in it then you wake up every day going oh crap i gotta go live my dream but when you're living your dream you're waking up early and you're headed off to go do whatever you need to do because you're excited for what the day holds so i love this for you all of you that chose number three and this is what they have for you for this energy of this pisces super blue full moon <laughs> And if you're interested in hearing more messages of love from above, there's a couple things that you can do. First, you can give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button. That tells me that you're enjoying this content, but it also tells YouTube that you're enjoying the content and they'll bring more of the same to you. Second thing you can do is click that subscribe button that does give you access to the notification bell. And if you go into the settings and select all, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on my channel and also get notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. Also, doing those things help spread the Zen love and you're part of the love tsunami because when you like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, or subscribe to the channel, doing those things does make the YouTube algorithm super crazy happy excited and it wants to automatically share the videos of my channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful. Grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, um, I do offer personal readings, and all that information is listed down in the description box down below. All right, amazing people, as you go throughout this next period of your life, please know that every second of every day of your life, that you are unconditionally loved by the Mother and the Father of all things, our Creator, and of course, I. I love you too. So until I chat with you again, much love to you. You hang in there and you take care.